working on Wednesdays. Wednesdays to me is the slowest day of the week. But it's pretty busy in the yard right now. But we just hooked up to what dispatch said would be our last movement of the day. We bobtailed over here to our terminal up to an empty 40 foot container that was delivered to the big box last night. Now we're just going to take it four miles down around the harbor to the shipping terminal get rid of it. Container, container in front of me is doing this. The trucker in front of me is doing the exact same thing. The only difference is he's got a 45 foot container and I have a 40 foot container.
Okay, so we're getting into the over 80 degree weather, which usually happens in April, May, June. And then uh, usually July, August, September, we get over 85 degree weather. And that's when it becomes pretty, pretty miserable without air conditioning. My first run this morning was a load of uh, crates going down to the wastewater treatment plant, which is like a huge uh, construction site. There's like five or six different projects going on. And uh, the contact person wasn't going to be there until 8 o'clock. We came in at 7, we got hooked up, and then we went over there. We were there by 7.30, and they didn't show up until 8.30. Stood by, and they offloaded the five crates and took that across the street to the shipping terminal to get rid of it. And then we hooked up to an um, empty 20-foot chassis and took that down to uh, Pearl Harbor so that the Navy divers could load a 20-foot container on it. Brought that back to the shipping terminal, turned right around and picked up a 20 foot container with uh, elevator parts inside. And we took that down to Pearl City where there's a storage facility and they were changing out their elevators. So we just stood by for another half hour there and they offloaded the, it was just three pieces, three big crates. experience that makes you move up. It's usually a uh, work ethic. Because if you have a good work ethic, you just have to look around and say, hey, you know, this guy's going to pay me $2 more. Do you want me to go work for him or do you want me to stay here and you can pay me $2 more? And then that's probably the easiest way to do it. And if you're a good worker, they're going to pay you $2 more. At least that's, that's how I look at it. So yeah, we're always hiring in Hawaii. The economy is definitely, uh, it's not booming, but it's, it's coming back. It's not where it was back before COVID, but it's definitely coming back. We have the, the tourist industry has come back, but it hasn't come back with the same uh, wealth that we had before, meaning that the, the traveler that comes to Hawaii now is more of a budget traveler, We're trying to be a budget traveler, which is hard in Hawaii, so, and usually that well-paid uh, tourist comes from international places, not necessarily the United States.
make it hard on the, they make it really hard on the Airbnb and the, anybody who works outside of that hotel industry. Because that's how, how I'm seeing it. Because I'm pretty sure the hotel industry is where the big tax bucks are generated. their trucks here in the front that's somebody else that's our competition but the warehouse looks like it's all done there's this let me fix some stuff on the inside now and the new shipping terminal here on the left that's coming along another year it should be bringing in the grains here that's gonna i, I think what's gonna happen is I don't think I... I don't know. This is just... Rumors. Is that the shipping terminal that we're going to is going to expand. We're going to take over the shipping terminal that's next to them. And this one that's next to them is going to move across to the new shipping terminal. And so we'll still have the same shipping terminals. Same two shipping companies. It's a meeting button. bigger and the other will get newer. That's just a rumor, I don't know. Believe it when I see it. DOT scale is closed for the day. What time? Oh yeah, 260. As far as I know, there's nothing to pick up inside the shipping truck. This, this should be our last run of the day. shipping terminals, they see the same 300 drivers every day, day in, day out, day in, day out. We probably know more about each other than other, most 
strangers do. So they kind of know when they see somebody that doesn't belong. They don't see a whole lot of strangers.
length on the main line because yeah. usually the trucking part's only like 15 minutes. Hooking and hooking more than likely take longer than the actual driving.
20 foot container that was full of uh, commercial dive gear in Pearl Harbor. It's actually out on Fort Island. I've been there before. Thanks for watching.